One of Britain's best young climbers is the subject of Stone Monkey, starting shortly on Channel 4. But next here on Thames, they may even have Santa in Christmas, What's My Line? I say, what's going on over there? It's what's coming off that's important. Tarn a lawn down to 4.95 a metre. Furnishing cotton to 7.50. But it's Christmas. Faruna wool at 11 pounds. It gets more and more material every year. You can start taking liberties tomorrow. Soft. Why put in my mum's swimming suit? They're still trying to describe a totally new kind of softness. Little baby got bright yellow. I think it smells like sky. Me. The special softness you get with new Lenore. Fresh field again. Um, ghost. Only Lenore can make your wash almost too soft for words. The brains behind the Tefal Safety Fryer have come up with an even safer fryer, the Tefal Super Cool. It still has the sealed locking lid and the wind down basket. But thanks to brilliant Tefal technology, the fryer is actually cool to the touch. We cannot, however, guarantee the same for the contents. The Tefal Supercool, a cooler way to fry. Ooh. Has your furniture seen better days? The Furniture Land sale is now on. Furniture Land stores are at Catford, North Finchley, Goodmays, Merton, Wembley, Stevenage and West Thurrock. You can't afford to miss the massive savings on upholstered living room and dining room furniture, beds and bedroom furniture. Can you afford to miss the Furniture Land sale? All these famous names will be there. Furniture Land, where luxury living has never cost less. This is Ambrose the Cat, a wild, vicious creature, a terrifyingly uncontrollable animal. There's only one way to tame him, Ambrosia cream rice. It's deliciously creamy and comes from Devon. And when Ambrose tastes it, he forgets the call of the wild. Ambrosia cream rice turns this frenzied mass of claw and sinew into a sweet little pussycat. Ambrosia cream rice. Devon knows how they make it so creamy. Really moving occasions demand pictures that really move. The Amstrad Fidelity Videomatic Camera, the whole shooting match for just £499. These people suffer from the pain of sensitive teeth. Hot things hurt. Cold things really hurt. Relieve sensitivity with Sensodyne toothpastes. Used every day, Sensodyne's special ingredients progressively relieve pain. And Sensodyne F has fluoride and a great fresh taste. Ask your dentist about sensitivity and use Sensodyne. Sensodyne toothpastes to relieve the pain of sensitive teeth. You've got 10 seconds to find the name of a famous electrical store about to begin its sale. The answer is Lasky's sale. Starts Tuesday, 9 a.m. Use your head. Hurry down to Lasky's for famous brands at incredibly low prices. Great afternoon entertainment for all the family. Boxing Day on Thames. At 12.35, film action with the Seawolves. It all sounds unbelievably attractive to me. What the hell's gone wrong? At 2.40, a festive wish you were here. The most famous pub and the most famous stretch of cobbles in the world. Join me for a stroll down Coronation Street on Wish You Were Here. At 3.40, take off for more film action and adventure with the James Bond film Octopussy, starring 007 Roger Moore. Fill her up, please. And at 6.15, an all-new, all-favourites festive Strike It Lucky with Michael Barrymore and friends. Highlights of your afternoon entertainment for Boxing Day on Thames. <laughs> Is it a reindeer groom? Is it a snowmaker? Now on terms, though, it's What's My Line?
fabulous Christmas still there. Did you eat too much turkey and Christmas pudding yesterday? I know the feeling, but don't worry, because the only thing we have an excess of on this program is fun. So let me start by introducing our panel, starting with someone who's pretty nimble on his feet as well as on the telly, because they tell me he's a very good footballer, and that is Nino Ferretto. Thank you very much. The very talented, the very glamorous, Gabrielle Drake. Hello. The indispensable, Jilly Cooper. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and a very special welcome to a newcomer to What's My Line. I have promised Esther that I will take very good care of him. Adrian Mills. Thank you. So let's begin right away by meeting our very first contestant. Will you sign in, please? And while you make yourself comfortable, if you'd like to play this game at home, all you have to do now is close your eyes, because coming up on the screen is what Bertie does for a living. OK, you can open your eyes now, because it's off the screen, and now we ask our panel to guess what uh, Bertie Hare does for a living. He comes from London, he is fee-earning, and uh, Nino, we're going to start the questions with you. Thank you. Hello, Bertie. Hello. Happy Christmas, mate. Same to you. Uh, now... Um, your job? Yes. Is it seasonal? Yes. It's not Easter, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Very definitely oh, no. It's not no, Easter. No, anyone, <laughs> Gabrielle. Do you, um, <clears throat> wear a costume for this? Yes. Is it a red costume with fur, white fur trimming on it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's, a, he's a fairy. You couldn't possibly be... Um... He's a fairy. No, he couldn't no. be Father Christmas, could he? <laughs> no. He's no. Father, Father Christmas. What oh, did Father say? Christmas? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bertie Hare is indeed Father Christmas to thousands of young people yes. here in London because he uh, he works in two very large departments. Yes. How House of Fraser. <laughs> oh. Oh. How long have you been a Father Christmas? Oh, about ten years. Now, Wonderful. do children really still believe in Father Christmas? Yes. And it's yes. really the parents who decide that I'm not a Father Christmas. But when the children come on, they look up at me and say, Hello, hello. And I say, what's your name? And they say, don't be so silly, I told you he lost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of things do children ask for for Christmas? Well, now? remote control things, aeroplanes, and cars. And they always... No, no, when you say cars, do you mean real ones or the battery-operated ones? The battery-operated <laughs> ones. You look and like they're also... Father pardon? You look like Father Christmas, Percy. Oh, I'm so I mean, yes. I'm dick. not as old as him, though. <laughs> what were you doing in your mind? What, what, what was that? In Picking up heavy parcels yeah. and handing it to them. But, but then sometimes I have the small children on my knee. And I ask the parents, excuse me, is it house train? <laughs> <laughs> Get a wet knee otherwise. Well, wet knee, because they look at you with such angelic little faces. And I go, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> What do you do with the smart Alec who comes and says, you're not Father Christmas, Father Christmas isn't real? Well, if he puts his hand out to try and pull my beard off, I get hold of him and I give him a very hard tweeze and <laughs> twist it, and looking at him with a lovely smile and saying, yes, all right, <laughs> and they don't do it again. No. But you, presumably you do get the same children coming back year after year. Oh, yes, yes. And it's amazing, they wait such a long time. They may wait an hour 
just to come in and say, hello, how are you? All right, happy Christmas. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, aren't you, Father Christmas is supposed to be sort of very jolly. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, yeah. Ho, 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 ho. That's the first thing that they say when they come on and say, Father Christmas. We'll just do ho, ho, ho. Ho, 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 ho. Happy everybody. Happy Christmas. And that's happy. Do you find it difficult, then, to be kind of smiling, cheery, happy Father Christmas? Yes, when some of them come round and try and pull my beard off and try and be funny, you know, funny Alex, which you, all you have to do, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. But you much. love the job, obviously. Oh, yes, yes. I love the kids, especially the kids about four and five. And they look at you, Father Christmas. What, what do you tell them you do with the reindeer? I mean, Well, they come up and say, where's your reindeer? I say, well, if you go to Richmond Park, by Robin Hood Gate, you'll see a lot of reindeers, and you'll see my favourite one, the one with the red nose. Oh! Bert, Bertie, well, what do you do the rest of the year? What does Father Christmas do come February? Oh, no, Father, if he's working up in that brand. Oh. But yourself? <laughs> yes, getting all this presents ready and everything like that. Which is what we have interrupted him from doing right now, because, of course, although it's Boxing Day, he's uh, getting ready now for next yes, year. Yes, I'm on my way back. Right, well, we're halfway there. Goodness. Well, we don't hold you up, Bertie. Thank no. you very much. Thank you very to much. Thank you very much. Thank you next Christmas. I hope so. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Happy Christmas, everybody. And in fact, Rudolph is parked right outside the studio, ready to take him straight back to Lapland. Our next guest, though, is waiting to sign in. So, will you sign in, please? <laughs> Come and take a seat. Now, Melalee Watton comes from Derby. She's salaried, and coming up on the screen is what she does for a living. So, you now all know what Melanie does for a living. I wonder if our panel will be able to work it out. We start the questions with Gabrielle Drake. Well, hello, Melanie. Mm. Nice to see you on Boxing Day. Now, it's not really a very... Um, good question, perhaps, on this sort of a day, but is what you do anything to do with food? Yes. yes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is it to do with Christmas food? Yes. Oh, God. Well, now, which end of Christmas? This is the point, isn't it? The sweet or the savoury? Um, uh, do you have anything to do with turkeys? No. No, nothing to do with turkeys, Ginny. Um, turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> what, um, what about Christmas pudding? Is anything to do with that? Yeah. You looked as though you were... It, it couldn't be anything as fundamental. I'm only thinking about cu currants. Uh, do you actually um, make Christmas puddings? No. No, she doesn't make Christmas puddings. Adrian, yeah. how nice to hear from you. Well, my goodness <laughs> me. <laughs> I'm not really terrified at the end of this desk. Um, were you putting things into whatever you were making? Oh, yes. Ah. I hate to say it straight away. Were you putting money in a Christmas pudding? No. No, she wasn't. Oh. Nino. Oh, I was going to say that. <laughs> Hello, Melanie. Hello. You weren't putting... It's something to do with Christmas puds. Yes. Um, are you decorating? No. no ah. I'm not decorating. Gabrielle. Um... It's, uh, are you actually making the Christmas pudding? No. Oh, you're not. Actually not. Jilly, what else do you do with Christmas puddings? Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do you test them? Best, better ones, you know, good ones and bad ones? No. No, she doesn't test them. Adrian. That was quick. Everything's <laughs> <laughs> a million. Would I actually purchase this Christmas pudding from you? Um. Possibly, maybe. Well, if I knew you well, I wouldn't you mean buy it. I'd... Specifically from Melanie, would you go to her and buy it from her? Is that what you're asking? Yes. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nino. Wow. <laughs> um, there's something else involved here. We're missing something, aren't we? If you don't say yes or no to that, we're missing something here. Um, is, is it anything to do with the alcohol? Do you put 
No. The alcohol <gasps> into the room. Yeah, no, there's nothing to do with the alcohol. Either. Wishful Even thinking. Long. Gabrielle. Oh, the date out the window. Um, right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, mm. Oh, uh, gosh, that's very good, yes. Is it perhaps not necessary to actually do with the actual um, Christmas pudding itself, but what you would eat with a Christmas pudding? No. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, no. Nine gone. Jilly, the last question is with you. You, you, you must wrap it then. No. Oh, sorry. I don't believe you. Sorry. <laughs> no. She doesn't wrap it either. Melanie, tell them exactly what you do. I pack them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she packs Christmas puddings, which means that we can actually send you away with a Christmas present, which is one of our certificates. How many Christmas puddings do you reckon you pack in a year? Um, several million. <gasps> and not only for Britain? No, all over the world. Even, I gather, to Japan. That's right. I can't imagine the Japanese somehow eating Christmas puddings. <laughs> With chopsticks. With, exactly, <laughs> yes. And, and, of course, people who love Christmas pudding will say, isn't it a great pity we can only get it at Christmas? What about being able to eat it for the rest of the year? Well, we do do them for the people that actually go out as Sunday puddings that are, are sold all year round. And in your mind, you were actually making the little box and doing what? I was putting the inserts in and actually putting the pudding into the carton. There you are now, you know. So she packs Christmas puddings. You probably actually ate one of them over the last couple of days. Melanie, congratulations on beating the panel. We're going to take a commercial break now, but we'll be back in a moment. I hope you'll come back and join us then. <laughs> to show you someone enjoying one of our products. But we realize there are times when you'd rather enjoy someone else's. All we ask is that you don't do both at the same time. It's all together. It's all together better. It's all together a better sale. The Alders sale, and it starts 9 a.m. tomorrow. This is where we are, and this is where it's at. Alders. All together a better sale. All together Alders. Starts 9 a.m. tomorrow. This is the listening bank, right? Yes, it is. You gave my older brother a vector account, right? Um, right. Good. Well, I want a new kind of bank account. You want a vector account? Uh, no. I said I want a new kind of bank account. Well, first, I want a cash card. A cash card? So I can get my money out 24 hours a day. Provided the money's there. You can't spend what you don't have. Oh, yeah, but I also need interest on the account. Interest? And I want to get discounts from shops and stores. Discounts? That's one C. One C. The new Live Cash account gives you 24-hour cash, interest, and discount vouchers for the cinema, pizzas, shoes, and records. And finally, I'd like a checkbook when I start work. <laughs> when you start work? Right. Right. Thanks for listening. Have a nice day. And you, matey. Live Cash from Midland. The Listening Bank. Where in the world can you find the sweetest of life's little luxuries or the brightest of the designer labels? Where can you find something to plug in a corner or something to fit a new kitchen? Where else but the Selfridges sale, where the bargains are getting bigger? Starts tomorrow. Highland Spring, one of the finest mineral waters in the world and with no trace of a foreign accent. Welcome back. Well, this is the part of the show where we meet our mystery celebrity, but before we do, do take a look at the panel. Look at those wonderful masks. Special Christmas masks. Have you ever seen anything like it? They could all sit on the top of the tree and look like <laughs> Christmas. Very on the top of the Christmas tree. They're absolutely wonderful. Red, 
with all those tiddly bits on them. I think they've even got sprigs of holly on them. They can't see them, I can, and they look absolutely <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> so yeah, very they are all completely blacked out, so I will say to our mystery celebrity, will you sign in, please? <laughs> Mr. Celebrity, take a seat. While you feast your eyes on that lot over there, we start the questions, as always, with Ginny Cooper. Hello, Mr. Celebrity. You're feeling very fat for Christmas. Yes. <laughs> Adrian. Oh, is that it? Um, you get one question each. Oh, yes. right. Um, everybody was sort of going, ah, oh, ooh, you're involved in entertainment. Yes, I am. <laughs> Nino. I'm try, still trying to suss out whether it's male or female. <laughs> well, we know. Sorry, um, you're in entertainment. Uh, um, you're, you're in showbiz. Uh, I certainly uh, am. Right, you're on telly. Are you on uh, TV at the moment? Can we sort of switch on and see you on telly? Yes. You can. Gabrielle. Sorry. Um, have uh, um, you, um, have you, are you in fact an actor? Some people think so. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Chili? Um, are you a comedian? <laughs> That's silly. What? <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes and no. Well, probably not known mm. for being a comedian yes. as such. No. So I'm going to give you a no for that. No. Adrian? Because it's Christmas and this is a time of pantomimes and things, are you, do you play pantomime dame? Certainly not. <laughs> no! Definitely not pantomime, Jane. Nino. Angela, what number are we up to? You've got two gone. Two gone? Oh, we're doing all right then. Uh, two gone. Uh, but, uh, have I worked with you? Yes. Yeah. I've worked with you. Gabrielle? Certainly. <gasps> Gosh, have I worked with you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy? Have I worked with you? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Adrian. Well, I wonder what question I can ask. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the goodness, uh, the, between you, I hope this isn't going to be Esther or something. Uh, have I worked with you? No. Oh. Oh, oh the deprived member of the team. I'm Another deprived. no. <gasps> that means it's three gone. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Oh, these two are, 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 are having a conflict no, no, here. No, they no. reckon they, they sussed it. Um, right, I've worked with you. <laughs> it's not that bloke at the dole office. <laughs> uh, be, 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 uh, in Panto, uh, you, you work in light entertainment? Yes. Light, yes. Gabrielle, know. are you known for your dancing ability? Yes. Are you? Yes. Yes. Well, you sleep. Chili Cooper. And do you give us lots of clues? Yes. <laughs> Adrian. Oh, oh. <laughs> are we going to have to say who is? And no, let's not say his name. Let's keep him there for ages. <laughs> <laughs> keep, keep me here for ages. Um, de dear me. Um, everybody knows you. Yes. Yes. Oh, right. Nino. Right. Now you've worked in movies. You, did, you were an absolute beginners, weren't you? Yes. Yes. <laughs> right. All right. Gabrielle. Um. Um, Put him out of his misery. Yeah, <laughs> Put him out of his misery? Yeah, go on, go for it. <laughs> right. You work with Una Stubbs? Yes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Judy Cooper? I think it's my little friend, Lana. <laughs> 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 oh, I often work with you. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what we must do, get, let, let's have, do it, oh, give us a no, twirl, no, Lionel. No, give us no, a twirl. Oh. Isn't that lovely? And buttons in Cinderella. Come so I'm going to say, hello, boys and girls. Hello, hello, hello buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> wonderful, wonderful costume. It's nice. I'm really pleased with it. This is good. But, but pantomime is very much a part of your life and has been for Christmases for years. Yes, I have done it? a pantomime every year since 1970. And I love it because I love working with and for children. You know, some people say you shouldn't, but I love it. I love the atmosphere when you're getting ready for pantomime I mean, you hear the buzz over the tunnel mm. and the children are so excited and you must remember it's the first time children most children are taken to the theater <laughs>